primary source of BPA is in the lining of cans. So any drink or soup or anything that comes in a can. Any can, all any cans. Any can, unless it's a high-end elite company that's made the change from BPA to an alternative lining. And they'll say that. BPA, it's kind of the evil twin of phthalates because phthalates are anti-androgenic and BPA is estrogenic and phthalates make plastic soft and BPA makes plastic hard. You don't want either. So when this came out that this was a bad thing, the manufacturers started selling things that say BPA free. I'm sure you've seen that. The trick is that instead of BPA, they use BPS. Sneaky rats. And BPF. And these are lookalikes, they're analogs, and they're just as harmful. What you're saying is really important. If I look at a can, it says BPA free. doesn't mean anything. It could have BPSs or other endocrine disruptors. Right. So drinking out of glass vessels, drinking out of ceramic vessels, metal, but not cans, not metal cans, not aluminum cans. Right. Not cans. No. You can get a metal water bottle. It's not lined with BPA. Steel. Steel. 